You see the crew go to work? Right front crew cam. Tire up, tire on caution. We got a car in the wall, guys. And there is the damage. As you can see, uh, it is a lot of damage on the right side. Oh, man, look at the whole Jay Howard's wing. machine yep. of Sarah Fisher Racing. Jay. Another driver warming up here this weekend to get ready for the Indianapolis 500. Now, he had been circulating around. He was a little stronger at the beginning of the race, and then he just started to get towards the end. And you see Sarah Fisher right there in her Dollar General machine. That's the team owner. So she will go around the race course and see her car with her driver up against the wall. Jay was running 25th out of the 27 cars. Uh, that gives you an idea how much a handful he had. Uh, Milka Duno is in 26th, uh, right behind him there. Uh, EJ Vizo is the only car up to this moment that was officially behind the wall out of the race with other damage. This is our third caution. As we mentioned before, the, the fewest cautions we've ever had here at Kansas was two. And so now with 21 laps to go, it will change all the last minute uh, leads that everybody had because I'm sure Scott Dixon was hoping to come out with that big race lead. Well, in this scenario now, we'll, uh, you know, always a better race to the end after a yellow because everybody gets to have an opportunity to look at watch the yellow car here on the high side in the frame. Actually, that's his car owner on the low side, Sarah Fisher. Now, for whatever reason, his car just starts to walk up the racetrack. We'll get another look at that, and you can see he's already hit it once, and here comes the second impact. And the momentum carries him all the way down towards turn number one. And there you see the safety crew and good sign. Jay is able to climb out of the car. And walking under his own power. So they'll take him to the infield care center and get him checked out. And as we mentioned, the best news we always see in that situation. As right now, we have eight cars shown on the lead lap because of the fact that some of these cars had already taken their pit stops right before the yellow came out. 